On April 30th, 1882, they were at Adiyaman, the destination city of the trip. After climbing up perilous cliffs and endless gorges, the explorers reached the summit on May 4th, 1882, two months after their departure. What I first beheld was entirely surprising. The burial ground peak stretched upward over the highest point of the rock face, actually 40 meters higher than the terrace up to which we had climbed as if it were a mountain sitting on top of another mountain. On a high podium-like structure were five immense statues of seated figures carved out of the rock with their backs turned towards the burial peak, out of Pustein. Whose portrayals were these colossal statues? The heads on the ground were more than six feet tall while the torso seemed to be higher than 30 feet. As he surveyed the site, Pushstein noticed that one of the figures had a club in his left hand. Could this be a portrayal of the Greek god Heracles? He decided to take a closer look. As Pushstein walked behind the statues, he noticed traces of a Greek inscription, which was possibly continuing down the other figures as well. In amazement, he quickly cleared the rocks. As Greek letters were revealed one after another, Pushtai was completely unprepared, for he was about to have the surprise of a lifetime. As you see, I have set up these divine images of Zeus or Amazdes and of Apollo, Mitras, Helios, Hermes, and of Artagnes, Heracles, Ares, and also of my nourishing homeland, Komageni. And from one and the same quarry, throned likewise among the deities who hear our prayers, I have consecrated the features of my own form. <laughs> 